students today we'll be discussing on animations in plus so at first the first question is what is animation suppose we are having a series of pictures that are viewed rapidly one after another then it gives an appearance of movement so this technique is used to make cartoons and is it is called as animation okay so animation is basically the rapid display of a series of pictures in order to create the appearance of the movement okay got it so now now to create an animation at first we need to learn about timeline frames keyframes and layers okay so by default you can see this figure here is the figure the timeline appears below the stage okay so it is the timeline it appears below the stage where we have to create the animation the timeline controls the timing of the appearance of the objects of an animation okay so the timeline consists of a series of frames okay now frames carry all objects of an animation so a frame is a measure of time on the timeline okay got it so a white rectangle in the timeline window represents the frame so these are the frames white rectangle okay so a white rectangle in the timeline window represent frame so these white rectangles are known as the frames so we can place frames in the timeline in the order we want them to appear in our animation okay now look at the red rectangle with a vertical line here it is it is known as the playhead okay so this playhead indicates the current frame on the stage okay now the keyframes so keyframe indicates a change in the content on the stage that's why keyframes are essential in an animation okay so the change could be in relation to the position of an object on the stage or the beginning or end of an audio file so a black dot on the timeline represents a keyframe you can see here a black spot or black dot so it is the keyframe on the timeline okay got it now we'll learn about layers you can see here layer so layers are like transparent sheets okay each layer contains a different image that appears on the stage so we can draw and edit objects on one layer without affecting our objects on other layer okay so layers overlap each other in the order they appear in the timeline so in the area of the stage with nothing on the layer we can see through it to the layers below okay so here you can see that by default it contains only one layer okay so we can add as many layers as we need to organize the objects animation and other elements in our document okay also we can hide lock and rearrange the layers here so this area is for list of layers okay this part each white rectangle represents one frame this is playhead okay now we will be learning how to insert 
and remove frame and keyframe. We can insert frame and keyframe in the timeline. To insert a frame, we can press F5 and to insert keyframe, we can use F6. Okay. We can also insert a keyframe by right clicking on the frame to open a menu and then click on insert keyframe. So, at first to insert frames, click on frame where you want to insert a frame. Then click on the insert menu, then timeline, then click on frame, shortcut is F5, okay, from the menu that opens, then the frame will get inserted here, okay, inserted here, okay, to insert a keyframe, same, Click on insert, then timeline, then click on keyframe from the menu that opens, then the keyframe will be inserted in the timeline. Okay. To remove a frame, just Select the frame you want to remove, then right click on the selected frame. From the menu that appears, click on the remove frames. As shown in this figure, the frame will be removed. Okay. Similarly, we can remove a keyframe by clicking on clear keyframe option. Okay. Now we will be learning how to create animation in flash. So, we can create animation in flash by these three methods or ways. Number one is frame by frame animation, then shape twin animation, then motion twin animation. So, in frame by frame animation, we can change the contents in every frame. Okay, To create a frame by frame animation, define each frame as keyframe and make a different image for each frame okay so to create image use the drawing tools or the faced images okay next one is shape twin in shape twin animation we need to draw a shape at one specific frame and change that shape or draw in another shape at another specific frame okay so flash automatically creates the frames for changing shapes between these two frames okay so the animation shows how a shape changes into the another shape next one is motion twin animation motion twin animation is used to change the position of an object from one point to another okay
now we will learn how to test an animation testing an animation for a movie is important to ensure that the animation will play in other video players also to test an animation just open any of the saved animations in flash then click on the control menu then point to text movie in the menu or you can use the shortcut here control plus enter then click on click on the test in the sub menu that opens a separate window opens where the animation plays okay